Hey, Shug. Welcome back to the Healing Circle. Okay, so if you didn't catch my last video, I made it very clear that I was going to do videos whenever the energy was promoting me to do a video, but also for the collective, okay, to give collective messages that will be beneficial for all of us, okay? So, this is your collective message, okay? All right, so I'm using the Moonology deck, all right? I don't have my glasses, okay? Um, I don't know where they are. I think they're upstairs. But I kind of know this deck, so I'll be able to um, get through the messages without struggling too much, hopefully. Okay? Um, we do have a full moon in Capricorn coming up, okay? All right, so it's appropriate to use this deck, okay? Hope you guys are doing well, if I didn't say that. But also, if the reading does not resonate, don't try to make it. Yeah, it's summertime. I have a little extra time on my hand. I did um, have like lunch with my uh, part-time boss. Okay, so like it's, camp is about to start. <laughs> so, you know, about to, you know, my, my little break about to be over. <laughs> oh, a new romantic cycle begins. Okay, listen. With co communication is key on the bottom. Okay, so new moon in Libra, new moon in Gemini. Okay, so I'm going to put this here, all right, because technically I didn't ask the question, so I'm just going to leave that there. I will, you know, read the message and clarify and all that stuff just in case there is a message, but Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, what is the message for the collective, okay? What is the message for the collective? Okay. For the collective. Okay, true. Take time to breathe out disseminating moon okay and expect powerful change right new moon eclipse bottom of the deck or the because or the why is adjustments are required third quarter moon okay so take time to breathe out expect powerful change because adjustments are required okay so we're gonna get into it and I still have the A New Romantic Cycle Begins card here as well. How are you guys doing? Are you enjoying your summer? Probably like, I don't have a summer. This is me all the time, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. I understand. Okay. Right. Let's go into, I'm going to do A New Romantic Cycle Begins last, okay? And let's go into the overall energy of adjustments are required. Third quarter moon. Okay. Oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah. All right. It says, think of yourself as a vessel that has been filled more and more over the past few weeks. Some of what has come your way may have been wonderful, but there is also a lot of negativity and you need to let go of this. Whatever situation and um, whatever situation you're asking about now, be honest about whether there are toxic emotions involved which you need to release into the ethers. This card also comes with the promise that all is not lost. However, there are changes or adjustments required before you, be, before you will go to where you want to be. A change, of course, is forecast now that recent events have been understood and acted upon. There may be a crisis now, which will remind you what you must, what you want, and what it's time to let go of. So pay attention. <laughs> That's crazy. I'm going to find my glasses. But what that is saying is, um, yeah, adjustments are required. Okay, so a lot of transformation might have happened over the last few weeks. Good, bad, okay. But it's, it's going to help you see things differently, okay? Whatever has happened um, over the past few weeks, maybe even after the new moon, okay? Especially if you manifested during the new moon, it's creating some changes for you, okay? And whatever changes are happening, it's going to help you see what you want and where you want to be, okay? It's like, you know, because it seems like whatever interactions you are having probably in the last few weeks aren't necessarily the best okay <laughs> like you know let's see what all right 
Why is adjustments are required here as the overall energy for the collective? Mature man. It says older male mature in age with a triangle. Okay. So there could be um, an older man that's involved with maybe a situation that's like a triangle, a crowded relationship, or maybe an older man has a choice when it comes to um, a relationship or a dynamic, okay? Um, the older man card, I mean, I'm sorry, older man, mature man card says, this is a mature man or someone mature for their age. If you are a mature man, this could be you, okay? And the triangle card says, This card can mean you are in a crowded relationship. Either you have a choice between two people or the person you are dating is seeing more than one person. Alternatively, there could be interference from an ex or a family member choosing between two different people. Okay, so that's what this triangle is. So this could, you could be an older, um, older or mature man, okay? Or you can be dealing with a mature man that has, to, has a choice to make, okay? And like Spirit said, like these adjustments may, um, you know, the adjustments are required, okay? And these adjustments are coming from you maybe seeing things a little clearer, okay? Seeing things like a little clearer where it's, it's telling you like whether you want to continue with something or not, okay? Nope, not yet. <laughs> well, that's not the deck I want to use yet. All right. Let's uh, clarify adjustments are required again. Let's clarify that message again with this deck. Okay. Hmm. Clarify adjustments are required for the collective. <laughs> adjustments are required for the collective spirit. Thank you. Mm -mm. Too many. Adjustments are required for the collective. Okay. Two. Twin flame. This is a divine counterpart connection. Okay. And obstacles. Unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement. Okay. Bottom of the deck, or because, because of children. Children are important to this partnership, okay? So, like the car said, it could be family involved with this triangle, okay? And, and right behind that was new love, okay? Especially if you have new love coming in or um, new love is a part of this triangle, okay? There are obstacles maybe um, because of children or, you know, other people. But whatever is about to happen or whatever, whatever has happened over the past few weeks, it's kind of you know, making someone see clearly which route they need to take or what they need to do. Okay. Clarify adjustments are required here for the collective spirit. Why? Okay. Five of Pentacles. Okay. Five of Pentacles. The Six of Wands. With the Ace of Wands on the bottom, the Hermit in Temperance. Okay. So the Five of Pentacles is about being left out in the cold. Okay. Um, the Five of Pentacles is about being left out in the cold. So there's a lack of, you know, being left out in the cold if someone else has success or someone. It's like in order, in, in order for um, like a change to happen, it's like someone, someone receives lack of, while, while someone else might receive success or growth or receive what it is that they want, okay, with this new beginning, this Ace of Wands, okay? So someone's been thinking a lot about, okay, how to balance out this new beginning. It's like, if I want to go towards this new beginning, how can I do it in the most balanced and fair way, temperance, okay? So that's that could be the obstacle, right? If the mature man, yeah, okay, yep, look, someone's trying to do it the right way. Okay, here we go, boom. Okay, this is for real. I like, I love this, okay. Someone's trying to make this adjustment, justice, in the right way, okay. 
Three of Pentacles is, you know, um, working together, uh, um, compromising. Um, yeah. Okay, that's the Three of Pentacles, right? Okay, with the Ten of Cups. So that someone can have what they truly ultimately want and desire. Okay. But the Nine of Wands energy, Queen of Pentacles, Two of Wands, Page of Swords, King of Pentacles, and the Strength card. Okay. The Nine of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles with the King of Pentacles here, this is someone that is being maybe even drained by a partner okay um with the king and queen of pentacles this can also because the the nine of wands can be like determination this can be someone that is determined to have someone that is compatible to them queen of pentacles either way okay the change that is needs to happen or that is being hap or that is happening because this is the because it's a change that is going to be not so good of a situation for one and then this you know works out or is good for the other okay uh, okay here we go take time to breathe out disseminating moon okay so this is this this is the message to take time to breathe out and expect powerful change for the collective message now remember bear with me because i can't see but you know all right, so take time to breathe out. The intensity of the full moon has abated. And what are we left with? That's what this card is asking you. It suggests that the situation you're asking about has now peaked. And it's time for you to regroup and learn from your experiences rather than blindly forging ahead. Have faith that what is happening is for the best. Try to accept the way things are now and give yourself and others time out to relax. Breathe. We can't be on all the time. If you feel you've hit an obstacle or even failed in some way, now is the time to reflect on how to do things differently. Be honest with yourself if you feel bad about your current situation and then remind yourself that life goes in cycles. Okay? All right. Don't trip. Work through it. Okay? What is the lesson that you learned here? How can you do things differently next time? Like, you know, yeah, it was difficult, but give everybody time to get through it, okay? All right. Why is take time to breathe out here for the collective? Why is this the message? Friendship and beauty queen. So it says friends, acquaintances, networking, okay, with beauty queen, shining on stage, adored, okay, bottom of the deck or because is obstacles, blocks, pathways, delays, okay, that's the second time we didn't got obstacles, okay, 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 let's get more, okay, oh, before I go there, let me read it. Okay, so friendship is about, it says this card indicates friends or acquaintances helping you out, you assisting friends or coming together in groups or business networking, okay? So yeah, you could be coming into um, like, you know, maybe starting something with a friend, okay? Especially with Beauty Queen being here on stage, shining, adored, okay? Um, Beauty Queen says... Receiving many offers, whether they are dates or offers of work or options in any area of your life, you may ask about, okay? Being invited on many dates or social activities, some of which may be galas or high-end events. Going out to nice places and shining, receiving a lot of attention from others. This applies to both men and women. Okay, basking in the glory of things, being on point and happening. Never a dull moment. Okay, so yeah, you could be networking and you know, like really connecting. Like, <laughs> like you at parties and functions, it is the summer. I told my friend, we outside. Okay, <laughs> listen, we was just outside. We outside. 
that's why i'm dressed like i'm at the beach okay <laughs> we just i'm mean, just outside okay all right so yeah like it's about just take time to breathe out like with the take take time to breathe out card Learn from your experiences without blinding. Okay, have faith that it was happening. Yeah, have faith that what is happening is for the best. Whatever's happening for you, it's for the best, okay? And the reason why it's for the best is because you're networking with different people, okay? You're shining, okay? You're on stage, you're going to parties and stuff, high-end stuff, you know? Let's see, I don't know. Take time to breathe out, okay? Whatever's happening is for the best, okay? With soulmate here, it says your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally, Okay? Yeah. So if someone is like not feeling you because you're like, you know, now shining or, you know, doing big things, something like that, they, you know, they, they're not your soulmate. They didn't really love you because your soulmate accepts, respects, and loves you unconditionally. Okay. All right. Yeah. And this is because awakening, someone is undergoing a spiritual awakening. Okay. Yeah, someone's awakening to it, okay? Maybe because you're, you know, networking and just going out to hiding places and, like, having fun, okay? Let's see why. There's definitely a triangle here, all right? So, it says, take time to breathe out. Why is this here for the collective? Please make it clear, spirit. The Five of Cups. The Five of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles. The Five of Cups is like shoulda, coulda, woulda, sadness, regret. Okay, someone looking at a situation, looking at their past, what they might have done, shouldn't have done, whatever, and having some regrets, you know. I shoulda did this, shoulda, coulda, woulda, right? Um, With the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom and the Death card, it's like they someone regrets the stagnation. That was my message from the last reading, okay? It's like someone's not happy with the stagnation. They, they regret doing that, okay? And with the death card, it's like that's the transformation, okay? What's Why is take time to breathe out here? Okay, now because you're networking and you're shining and stuff like that, someone regrets like the stagnation when it comes to you. It came out. Okay, yeah. Someone regrets the stagnation with the Knight of Pentacles, okay? And with the death card... The Seven of Wands and the Ace of Swords, Three of Cups, is like they're done blocking it. That's why is the fuck. Sorry. That's the same message from, it's kind of giving the same message from uh, the last reading. Okay. It's like someone regrets the stagnation and they're done blocking it. With the Ace of Swords energy, this is about being honest. Okay. Maybe with a third party, Three of Cups. Okay. This can be a group or a family, you know, group of family members. Okay. Um, with the Nine of Cups energy and the Nine of Swords, okay, so that someone can have their wishes fulfilled. Because someone is definitely an energy of regret, man. I regret doing this. I regret doing that, okay? All right. And this can be that mature man, okay? Because the mature man definitely has a choice when it comes to that, that um, triangle situation, right? So it says, expect powerful change, new moon eclipse, right? Let's see what that one is. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Oh, there you go. Okay. <laughs> Bear with me. Let me get my eyes together. Let me get my eyes together. Okay, here you go. If you want affirmation that what... No, if you want affirmation that you can achieve your dreams... And get the desired outcome in the situation you're asking about, then this is it. Okay. So anyone trying to get confirmation that they're going in the right direction, spirit's like, listen, this is it. Okay. This is a card of beginnings, and there are powerful energies at work. But be prepared. It could be quite a ride. Okay. And events now could even be jarring and uncomfortable. Okay. However, any new directions you take will almost always lead somewhere better than where you are at the moment. So it may be uncomfortable because, of course, it's different. It may be a little, you know, jarring because if it's going fast and it's exciting, it's like, oh, I don't know, right? But it's definitely, 
more than likely always going to lead to something better okay whatever is happening now is happening for a reason and you'll appreciate later okay a new portal is opening up and all you have to do is have the courage to forget about the past and move through it you're being put back on the right path okay sometimes we choose a path for ourselves that isn't necessarily the direct the direction that the divine source god has for us okay and it's so that we can learn critical lessons all right you're being put back on the right path there is nothing to fear it may be jarring a little uncomfortable but don't be scared okay don't be scared let's get a message let's see why is this here all right expect powerful change for the collective okay yeah i mean to be honest listen with this friendship and beauty queen you about to be you know you just you meeting new folks and you know it's you know you, you <laughs> like i don't know expect powerful change here why is this here for the collective yeah. Expect powerful change. All right, y'all, <laughs> for real. <laughs> Listen, triangle. Crowd of relationship choices. This is actually coming out now, right? Boom. Okay. Twin flame. Spiritual alignment. Okay. It says spiritual alignment. You're being put back on the right path. Didn't I say that in that message? Okay. Boom. It says spiritual alignment. Effortless. Karmic. Okay. All right. So, there was a triangle. Twin flame, spiritual alignment, effortless. Okay, cool. It says new love, new person or unknown person. Okay, remember we had the new romantic cycle card flip out while I was shuffling. I got it here. Don't worry, I'm going to read it. Bottom of the deck. And this is all because of freedom, casual, being single, lightness. This is you releasing yourself from something. Okay, we can already see with the mature man over here and the triangle okay and there were some obstacles with this twin flame and all that good stuff okay because someone's going to be left out in the cup okay so someone was like i want to do things right i want to do things in a fair way i want to be i want to compromise okay so that i can have this ten of cups that's my happily ever after okay someone regrets the stagnation but they're done doing that they're done blocking it okay they are going to be honest okay they're going to they want a victory if someone is going to be honest with this third party or honest with their friends and family, okay? With the expect powerful change card here, let's clarify even more, okay? But it's the triangle card, remember, said, mm -hmm. the triangle card said, this card can mean um, you are in a crowded relationship. Either you have a choice between two people or the person you are dating is seeing more than one person. Alternatively, there could be interference from an ex or a family member choosing between two different people. Twin flame says you may be in a twin flame relationship or be trying to attract your twin flame. A twin flame can be a positive connection or a negative one. If your twin flame is available to be with you in this lifetime, it can be an effortless relationship that is truly fulfilling on many levels. And if your twin flame is not available, then it can be an ongoing karmic and difficult connection where one party feels abandoned. Okay. Yeah. So in this triangle, there could be a twin flame that might feel abandoned if someone is finding new live. Okay. The key here is to block, delete, and move on to a workable relationship with someone else. People who hold out for their twin flames can often waste years of their life without getting the result that they want. Okay? And you have new love. New love says this.
There you go. <laughs> this card usually means someone totally new. You have never met before and you don't know this person. Yet, it can also mean for couples that it is a new pet project or baby coming into your life. Okay. Let's dive deeper. Okay. Because someone is definitely awakening to like this soulmate energy, right? Your soulmate respects, loves, and accepts you unconditionally. Why is expect powerful change here for the collective? Regret. <laughs> Regret. Okay. And awakening to a decision, put away the computer, it, it came out, but it fell on my lap. Okay, it did flip over, but I'm not going to take it because it fell on my lap. Okay, but it said regret right here, and then it said, um, I don't know what I just said. I don't know what I just said. Okay, no, I don't know what I just said. Okay, so with regret, it says someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Okay, so someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Um, bottom of the deck or because of a marriage. It says this relationship is moving forward, moving toward a sacred union, time apart, leap of faith. Okay. So someone feels remorse for the way that they treated you. Okay. And this is because of marriage. Let's get one more. Maybe there was a marriage. Remember, there was a third party here, triangle. Why is this spec powerful change here? <laughs> Forgiveness. Forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward, okay? This can be forgiving someone who was unavailable because unavailable is on the bottom of the deck, okay? This person is unable to give all you deserve. That's the interference, okay? Maybe because of interference, all right? So someone regrets maybe the procrastination here because we see the Five of Cups with the Knight of Pentacles, someone having regrets for all the stagnation. Um, and forgiveness is here. It says forgiving yourself or another will help you move forward, all right? get more let's clarify terror okay all right please clarify expect powerful change queen of swords and the two of cups okay so the queen of swords is about discernment being honest um clarity in your choices and thoughts okay communication um someone is maybe being honest okay yeah, Th this can also be um, someone that you, you know, have maybe haven't spoken to, someone maybe that, you know, had a difficulty making a choice with the Two of Swords. Um, yeah, the Queen of Swords energy with the Two of Cups is like, uh, yeah, someone wants to be honest or communicate about a union, okay? Page of Cups, okay? If you're angry with this person, because the Queen of Swords can be a little stern okay this is someone that wants to apologize okay the page of cups is a loving message okay this can be someone that's reaching out asking for forgiveness with this forgiveness card here um maybe wanting to get on your um good side in whatever way okay um with the knight of cups energy and the six of swords is to move things into a better state so i'm coming to express love give love with the knight of cups energy to move things into a better state the knight of cups energy is like romeo okay all right cool expect powerful change and this is because someone has some regrets, okay? Maybe because of this triangle, right? Yep, that's the Knight of Cups energy with the Eight of Swords, okay? The Knight of Cups energy is coming with action of love, all right? And the Eight of Swords energy is a stuck energy, okay? So the stuck energy with the Eight of Swords is like, I'm not sure, okay? Uh, with the Ace of Cups and the Three of Cups, I'm not sure if I can have this new beginning because of who? Three of Cups. That's a triangle. Okay? Yeah. So someone is being honest with the Queen of Swords. They're going to apologize maybe because of, you know, whatever they did, the regrets they had. Okay? Um, and, but they're coming with actions of love. However, with the Eight of Swords energy, they're not sure. Someone's like, I'm not sure if I can have this new beginning because of the Three of Cups. Okay. Let's see. I got to see what the page of cups is and what the eight of swords energy is okay all right clarify the page of cups please spirit what's the page of cups energy okay 
okay? Someone wants to apologize for waiting to have this new beginning. Seven of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. It's like waiting. Um, you know, see, this is also like an energy of like, I'm going to sow these seeds and I'm going to see what will produce from it, okay? Before I have this new beginning. It's like, it's, it's energy of procrastination. With the devil energy on the bottom, this can be something that, yeah, um, someone has, you know, like constantly does, okay? Maybe they're just like a constant procrastinator, okay? Maybe they just like, you know, you know, create excuses, eight of source energy that don't really exist, okay? Um, yeah, uh, with the eight of cups energy, okay? Yeah, eight of cups energy, eight of pentacles, and the six of swords is like walking away from a um, situation, uh, a memory or whatever when it comes to love and emotions, um, even a relationship when it, you know, by looking at all the other cards. And working on moving things into a better state, okay? Yeah. Five of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune is the conflict changing, okay? With the de devil energy, someone might see, like, this is my my problem, my habit, my, my issue that needs to be addressed. And that's waiting to have a new beginning, okay? Because with this Eight of Swords energy, someone feels like, I don't know if I'll be able to have this new beginning, Ace of Cups, because of this third party, Three of Cups, okay? Why is the Eight of Swords here? tower it's gonna cause a tower it's gonna cause a tower yep knight of pentacles and the ten of swords okay yeah someone's been procrastinating on ending something okay that's crazy with the knight of wands and the five of wands okay And we saw the children's card. This this action with the Knight of Wands energy is about action, doing something, okay? This action, even though someone could be going after their passion with the Eight of Wands, Ace of Wands energy, the Knight of Wands and the Ten of Wands are saying, me taking this action is very difficult because of my children. Six of Cups. And we saw the children card was over here, okay? The obstacle was the children, okay? And with the Five of Pentacles energy and the Lovers, Okay, if they abandon the connection. Okay, so that's what it is. But with this tower energy, okay, and the Knight of Pentacles, it's like tower to the Knight of Pentacles, tower to the stagnation. Why is the Eight of Swords energy here? Eight of Swords. Okay, two of pentacles. I'm sorry, no, page of pentacles. Okay, so this unexpected change with this tower energy is producing an offer with the page of pentacles that the devil, okay, has been avoiding. Now, it doesn't have to be the devil, okay? It could be a Capricorn, okay? But with the, what it says to me is this, um, that habit, okay? Whatever uh, habit someone has, when it comes to just waiting, procrastinating, delaying, okay? Um, suddenly, there's an offer that this habit has been avoiding, okay? Yeah, with the Seven of Swords energy and the Ten of Swords, the the, sev the Seven of Swords is like, mm, it's lying, cheating, being sneaky, deceptive. Ten of Swords is a betrayal, okay? It's like, you're not doing things the right way. And the energy over here is saying, I want to do things, I want to make this change and do it the right way, okay? Yeah, so that's why this tower is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a change. All right, now let's read A New Romantic Cycle Begins. Okay, New Moon in Libra. All right, All right it says this. Give and take could well be the answer to whatever dilemma you're asking about. Compromise may be called for. It's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. When the new moon in Libra comes up, there's a restart for you and for someone else. A new relationship could be beginning. And if that's the case, the chances are this will be a healthy and well-balanced connection. In anything you do after pulling this card, doing it in pairs is advised, such as teaming up with someone in business or in your personal life. Libra is the sign of relating, and this card suggests that whoever 
is at the heart of the issue you're addressing is someone who will be open to talking things through. Avoid being selfish. It won't get you anywhere at this time, okay? So whoever's at the center of this will be open to talking things through, okay? Let's get some messages on that, okay? All right. A new romantic cycle begins for the collective spirit. Please clarify. Start, it's time to start negotiating or even renegotiating. Okay, listen. And you cannot make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. We got Twin Flame that came out twice, two separate decks. Okay, we got Children now that has come out twice, two separate decks. Okay, Children says childlike innocence fun okay and true gem valuable quality jewelry okay all right bottom of the deck or because home property real estate residence with work behind that all right cool yeah let's get those messages okay so children says this this can show emphasis on children in your life or the potential of children around you or the person you will be dating or are in a relationship with. If children do not resonate with you, then it is about having more fun and seeing the world through childlike eyes. Lastly, it can mean a fresh new project you will be launching. Okay. So yeah, it can be anything, okay? But it can be like around children. Someone could be coming into your life with children. Um, this can be around uh, having more fun, okay? Seeing the value, because the True Gem card says valuable quality jewelry, okay? Seeing the value in maybe a new relationship with a new rom romantic cycle beginning, okay? By True Gem here, let's read that message. Okay. Yeah. It says, this represents someone of value and quality who will come into your life. It can represent someone who works with gemstones, crystals, or jewelry. It can also mean a commitment ring or engagement ring will come to you soon. Okay. So this could be someone who is childlike and works with crystals. <laughs> right? This can be someone that you have a lot of fun with, okay? Maybe you want to buy a home with this person, okay? Maybe you're working towards that, maybe building a home, whatever, okay? But whatever is happening, okay? It just, it it's going to take some negotiating, maybe even renegotiating, okay? So you can have the outcome that you're looking for, okay? Why is a new romantic cycle begins here for the collective? Please make it clear, Spirit. With children and true gem. Stability. Can't make this stuff look. And the weight card fell on my lap, but went in reverse. So it's like, don't wait, okay? This is your support. It says stability. This relationship can stand the test of time, okay? All right? And it kind of gave the energy of, like, it being effortless, okay? Like, you may be going into a connection or a relationship that is, like, effortless. It's easy, okay? Yeah. Let's clarify. Please clarify a new romantic cycle begins for the collective spirit. I think my next video, I'm going to go back to my original space. I can't keep using a guest room. <laughs> a new romantic cycle begins. Please clarify. Can you make this stuff up? Can you make this stuff up? Yeah. Okay. All right. I, I read my cards in the order that they came out. Okay. <laughs> Two of Cups. That's a relationship, partnership. Okay. It's moving forward. Chariot. All right. Yeah. It's because someone is communicating. Eight of Wands. Okay. Yeah. That they're ending something. Ten of Swords. All right. Eight. Four. A new beginning. Ace of Pentacles. All right. All right. Six of Pentacles. That is balanced and fair. All right. 
Okay. The Empress energy with an Empress. Now, this can be like, that's going to grow and, you know, that's abundant, that's fertile, that's um, going to, you know, expand someone's life. Okay, that's what the Empress energy is. Because with the Nine of Wands energy and the Four of Swords and the Three of Swords, is someone maybe going through a very rough, difficult time with the Nine of Wands energy, okay? Um, but still not giving up, okay? And the Four of Swords with the Three of Swords is healing a broken heart. Someone is determined to do that, okay? Someone is definitely determined to do that. So a relationship is moving forward because someone is communicating that something is done, okay? With the Ace of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles and the Empress, this is a new beginning that is balanced fair and grows okay because someone is determined to heal a broken heart okay let me clarify the empress energy mm -hmm. okay okay Holy Spirit, angels in heaven, please clarify the Empress energy. Sorry, I don't like my cards all over the place. <laughs> please clarify the Empress energy. I saw, I'm sorry. I saw a video. I'm a Gemini, right? You guys know that. I saw a video online. It was like, um, I put it on my stories. It was like when Gemini's, like this is a Gemini. Okay, organized. Well, yes, I don't like that. I don't like when stuff is like, you know, not even. And, oh God, it drives me crazy. <laughs> Why? Uh, clarify the Empress energy, please, for the collective. Clarify. Okay. The moon and the king of cups is someone being afraid of their own emotions. Okay. It's like, yeah, it's like, it's suppressing it. It's like, but someone's like, was like afraid of their own emotions. Okay. Yeah, with the empress energy. It's like, but you know, someone wants to give to this now. They want to grow it. Okay. They want, they want it to grow. Okay. Um, someone's afraid of their own emotions. They're afraid of how they felt. Okay. Um, with the six of pentacles and the five of pentacles, um, it's like, you know, the Six of Pentacles is given equally. It's like, I want to give to this, okay? Um, but it will require them to abandon a connection from their past. Five of Pentacles, the Lovers, and the Six of Cups, okay? Yeah. But someone's making a decision because they've thought a lot about it, all right? Any more for the Empress energy? So the Empress energy is about progression forward, okay? Um, abundance, fertility. Someone was afraid of how they felt, which is why that maybe didn't happen at the time. Okay. They resisted ending a cycle. Okay. Strength card and the world. Okay. It's someone that resisted ending a cycle. Afraid of my emotions. So I'm going to resist ending a cycle. Okay. Yeah. Because it will require them to abandon a connection from their past. Okay. Remember, we started off with the triangle. It's definitely there. So... Adjustments are required. I'm going to give you the summary. <laughs> okay. Whoever this mature man is. Okay. Adjustments are required. Okay. With this twin flame and the obstacles. All right. Um, someone's not going to get what they want while someone else does. Okay. So someone's trying to do things right. Okay. To, you know, compromise, work things out, be fair. Okay. So, you know, they can have their 10 of cups. Spirit is like, listen, a new romantic cycle begins. So this is a time to negotiate or even renegotiate. Okay, that's that energy over there. Um, take time to breathe out. Okay, allow everybody to process this change. Okay, as you're making this change. All right, your soulmate loves, accepts, and respects you unconditionally. All right, so if someone, you know, all of a sudden they don't love you or they don't respect you or, you know, what I'm saying they don't accept you for whatever reason, they ain't your soulmate. All right, so the friendship and the beauty queen is like you're meeting new people, you have new people around you, you are being adored. Okay. And it's because your soulmate accepts, loves, and respects you un unconditionally, all right? Um, so with the Five of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles, someone regrets like not acting on this sooner, okay? They regret the stagnation, but they're done blocking it and they're being honest, okay? Expect powerful changes here because whatever happened with this triangle and this twin flame, okay? Because your twin flame could either, you know, be an easy, effortless connection or it can be one that's very, very difficult, Okay? That you need to let go of um there's new love and someone has regrets for maybe you know the decisions that they made in the past and they want forgiveness 
right? Um, they're being honest with, the, you know, with someone when it comes to a union and they're apologizing and showing acts of love, um, but they're still stuck. They're still stuck in whether they can have this new beginning because of the third party, all right? Um, but with this tower energy and the ace, I'm sorry, I'm sorry the page of pentacles, this ace, eight of swords is clarified by the tower and the page of pentacles. Some, there, someone's coming out of this eight of swords energy, or they will. It might happen suddenly, but they will. And there will be an offer, okay? Um, this devil energy and the two of swords is like someone's unhealthy pattern that is causing them delays, okay? So a new romantic cycle is beginning. One is probably more fun and childlike and all of that, okay? It could involve children, all right? Um, with someone that is a true gem, okay? Um, it's stable with a stability card, okay? This relationship can't stand the test of time, okay? There is a relationship that is moving forward with the chariot energy because someone is communicating that something is done, all right? This a new beginning, Ace of Pentacles, will be balanced and fair, Six of Pentacles, and it will be fertile and grow, Empress. So that's what I have for you, Shug. I hope this helped. And I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Please like. Hit the like button. It's down there. Comment. Leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. Share. Send it to your friends. Post it to social media. And subscribe. So that you know when I post. Miss you guys already. Bye.